Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is, for the most part, blind. I've only played the first 20 to 30 minutes or so, um, because I tried starting up an LP of this some other time in the past, but we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't know anything beyond the beginning of the game. So, uh, yeah. Pow. I was going to do this when it came out, however, I wanted to wait until I got a new computer. And I did get a new computer. And then I did some other stuff. So, well, here we are. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean? Almost. I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post clinics. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Syrif is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Syrif wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. All right. Uh, so what do we got around here? Um, biometric scan, a skeleton. All right, cool. Shut up, Megan. I'm looking around your office. I got to snoop in your files. Look at this. What is this? In a second. Please report. Okay. Hmm. Come on, slowpoke. Shut up, Megan. Jeez. Maybe if I talk to her like Jensen. I can't talk like Jensen. I can't voice act. Okay. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Megan, honey, why aren't you picking up your phone? I've tried you at your house and your office. At least when you and Adam were together, I knew he'd make sure you eat every once in a while. 
I don't suppose you Please, found some- Adam, I'm nervous enough. Shut the hey, fuck up! Stop reading my email. Oh, whoops. I'm scared. What if they ask me about where I got the first sample? What if they ask about Patient X? I don't know how to answer that. Well, you tell them who Patient X is. Duh. Whoever the hell Patient X is. And then the dog. Eh, just try the queue. I'm really in a bind. Doggy's daycare is a fool and I can't find it. And I thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. Shut up. Megan. Um. Hmm. Okay. Wait, oh, oh. I can look at other things. Ha! This picture! I'm wow. looking at it. How long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. From Mega Mr. Darrow. Darrow Darrow. Darrow Darrow? <gasps> Mathematical models! Second edition! Whoa, where'd you get that? David's waiting at him. We shouldn't keep him. Fine, I'll stop screwing around. Let's go. This Man, this is, is a fancy lab. Only. I like fancy labs. All what white you mean and back stuff. There, yeah. About how you found it. Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Sarif. Megan. Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the P-Dot cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. What the I hell's a P-Dot cluster? Cluster. Cluster. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. Hey, you, uh, you know how people are. It doesn't matter if I've been here for 30 years. There could still be secrets that I don't know about, right? Too many peptides. I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer, we might get a more accurate reading message from you. Must be I'll ask David times. to consider it. Man, I'm so well, glad I'm just a security guard or security person. You I don't need to understand this. Huh? The what? work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, by blowing things up. Yeah. Except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing good. It's not all just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Hey, watch out! <laughs> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Wait, Nia, what are those? Can I? Ready? I can't read them. Damn it. Washington. Maybe you should watch where you're going. Uh, Don't blame the guy. He had boxes blocking his vision. Ah, huh. Dr. Reed. Hello. This is General O'Neill. Oh, Dr. General Dr. Jerko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. Combat chassis? But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. Oh, that's awesome. I want one of those for Christmas. Megan, can we get one of those for me? Impressive. Oh wait, I have to get Listen augmented to, to use it. I'm afraid Never mind, I'm good. I don't want to be augmented because, um, general. yeah, no, I'm good. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat. But neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. Well, partially. I don't hate anyone, yet. Ooh, look at me and my badass jacket. Huh. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Like what? Adam, I... There's something I... Uh-oh. Hey, hey! Good evening. Welcome to the Richard. private conversation. So, are we all ready for the trip? Ooh. There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad. Wait, what were you gonna say to sure. me? Aw. Hello. Did I uh, 
interrupt something, Jensen? Yes, you did. Firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. So did then you did fix you it? Plug it. Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex cop. I doubt you'd understand. Hey, I play Ex video SWAT. games and I understand pretty be well. Surprised. Seraph has to see Understand you. stuff. Athena. Yeah. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. They will. Gentlemen, I how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data every 10 feet or 5 seconds. Oh, that sounds cool. Whoa. This is an interesting office. What's up with all the balls on the ceiling, though? That's interesting. Eh, I guess... This is a big office. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the hill, and then Federal Jeez. Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explained it to you? No. Not really into the whole science thing. Well, I still would have liked to have had it explained. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. What? It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Uh-oh. Environmental what? malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down. Two four six one. You know the code? Yeah. Oh. Four, five, one. Oh wow! I I I I don't even know where the hell that one came from. Two four six one. Shut off the damn hmm. racket. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, let's look around this place real quick. I'm sure she can wait. I don't know who that is. Is that him in his younger days? Because, huh? Interesting. Ooh, that's cool. Laws of Detroit. Narcotics. Electric systems lost. Zero four five one. Fine. Okay. Let's go. Look at this high tech button. Zero four five. Zero four five one. Oh fuck. Zero four five one. There we go. I used my numpad. Okay. Huh. Pritchard. Where's Meg? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Man, this is Richard. really inconvenient. Richard! Wait, why did I pull out my gun? If it's an environmental failure, I don't need to pull out my gun. What am I gonna do? Shoot the fire? Fire! Stop exploding on stuff! Pew 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 pew! Hey! You okay there? It's a lot of blood for a plant that's on fire. Okay, that didn't work. I was kind of hoping my bullets could extinguish fire, but I guess that's not the purpose of it. Alright, let's get out of here then. Yeah. Ooh, I can move the body! <gasps> I'm gonna collect bodies! This is for my experiment. You see, I'm actually a secret evil genius. <laughs> they think because I'm an ex-cop slash security manager that I don't do experiments of my own while I'm in the lab. I just never had the resources I required. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Soon. Uh oh. Hey. Ooh. Damn. Damn. That's bulletproof glass. And he bro almost broke it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna scrap my evil genius work for now, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, moving objects. Or I could do this. I'm gonna use my face because. Fuck the police. Okay, fine. Get the fuck out of here. I'm so glad that vents open up like this and are exactly the size of me when I'm crouching. I can forgive this detail. It's a video game. Um. Hmm. Ah. 
the small things in life. Oh well. Here. You'll have company here. He'll just be on your crotch. Ooh la la. Doctor, you're so naughty. Wait, would they be doctors? They're scientists. I don't know. Aw, oh, poor little guy doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Malfunction can't locate boxers. <laughs> okay. Surf Industries, boop. So it's telling me combat. Oh, I got this shit. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, fine. My game crashed. What the f- <laughs> Stupid crash. Don't worry, I've got this shit, guys. Okay, oh, whoa. Hello. Okay, so we take cover like this. And middle mouse button brings up our gun. For proper aiming. Bang! Okay, that was a little awkward in how I did that, but you know what? I don't need you judging me. <sighs> Hello, body. Here, you can join them on the staircase. Ooh, bullets. I don't think I need any because it's not showing me an ammo counter, so, yeah. Then again, why would it show me an ammo counter? I'm just a human. I obviously couldn't have one in my head or anything like that. Hmm. Please don't get up. Oh, well, you see, asking didn't do it. You said the magic word, but sometimes they just don't care. Peekaboo! <laughs> I can tell that I'm going to be such a boss at this game. Okay. What is this? Oh. That's where the toxic gas was. I could have toxic gassed them. Aww. Well, I toxic gassed the other guy. I use my environment because I'm Adam Jensen and therefore I'm smart. I think. Yeah! Shoot all the things. Hey, what? Oh. Hello. Okay, bye. She turned invisible. Oh. Hi. Aw, oh, aw, oh, aw, oh, man. How'd she even... The fuck? How does she fit in the vents like that? Like, I get the, the ones that are like the size of me, but that's like a circular... The fuck? Cactus. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh god. Okay, I can tell this is gonna really, really hurt if I try to do anything wrong. Um. There we go. Headshot. I'm gonna take cover. So I guess I'm gonna have to use cover a lot. I'm not a really big fan of having to take cover in a game that's first person shooter. It's just weird to me. But, okay. Mostly because it's like, here's a first person shooter. Now here's third person elements. What? It's just odd. Oh well. Okay. Hands. Ooh. I wonder if you actually feel like normal. And I don't, I don't mean in like. Oh man, I feel weird. I, I just mean I wonder if you can. Touch. You can feel the touch uh, thing, shit like that, with the augmented hands. If you could, that'd be interesting. Especially if you could actually feel like your joints could- Oh, what the fuck! I'm trying to have a fucking philosophical debate here. Well, it's not really a debate, but whatever. Ow. Jesus, my guts are showing.
Oh no! Damn! Megan! She's solely fucked. Oh shit. CT probe shows the bullet caused severe hematoma. We need to repair that artery. They're fixing me? They can make me better, faster, stronger? My god, sweet. This is a glass. They saw bladed my flesh. Whoa! My heart is now branded. I'm sorry. His body can take it. Day six, human revolution. And now I'm heavily modded. Awesome, even though I probably didn't want it. Oh well. Pocket secretaries often contain passcodes or computer passwords. Ooh. Okay. Awesome. Damn, six months later? All right. Holy shit, that's a big surveillance camera. That's not even subtle. We have more subtle cameras today. That could probably spin and stuff too. Jesus. Oh well. Hello, Industries. Oh, that's just fucking awesome. Adam, it's David. You in the building? Yep. What's up? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. Oh, boy. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. My mouth isn't moving. Okay, we're Frank's just gonna get back in first person. on the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. This is throwing me off. What is this? No one should ever have to give up a normal life because of a random incident or indeed... Okay, bye. Hello. My God. Mr. Jensen. I didn't think you'd... Oh, wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you... need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab First? floors were pretty much demolished. Yeah. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Pritchard's office. Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment Where's the equipment office with a lot of computer it? equipment shoved Mr. into Pritchard it? Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. Oh, all right. Um... I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I... I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Yay. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. 
I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. Okay, what? You said everyone's been moved yeah. around? Almost everyone. Who are you looking for? Uh, where's my office? Has my office been moved? No, sir. You still have that great view of the lobby. Mr. Pritchard wanted it, but Mrs. Margulis put a stop to that. Up two floors and make a right. Vision. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? No, I'm, I'll find my way. I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. It's good to be back. Not really. This is a place that made me, like, get all fucked up. And or lose my girlfriend. My ex. Ex-girlfriend. I don't know what happened there, but yeah. Okay. Hi. Is it really you? God. Whatever's going on at the factory must be serious. Damn purists. Fucking purist. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to Pritchard and get this HUD fix because it's really throwing me off. Pritchard! Why is David keeping what? the SWAT team from going in right nah. away? Nah. Hup. 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 Pritchard! What's up, bro? Ooh, quick save. Uh, what's up? About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Wow. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. Uh-huh. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Ugh. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. What? No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Man, I sure love threatening Pritchard. And I don't mind. I don't like Pritchard. He seems like a dick. And let's go check out my office since uh, we're over here. See if there's anything new, if there's anything I need to pick up. Okay, Seraph books. More cactuses because... Or more cacti. Because why don't you want cacti? Cactuses. Whatever. Uh, oh, it's up there. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Hello, security guard. Oh man, look at this. I didn't think we'd see you for another six months. No matter what Seraph said. Oh, don't worry guys, I'm back. I'm supposing my, that the security teams are all my bros. Yeah. What's in here? Okay. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey Adam, you're back. Great to see you. Wow. They really did a number on you. Yep. Well, good to see you're cleaning up my 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 window, although I don't know why there'd be anything covering it. Why is this big ass vision shit here? I don't understand. Oh well. Okay, what do we got over here? Painkillers. Sweet. Pocket security. New login. A Jensen Mandrake. Alright. Hey Jensen. Mandrake. Okay, welcome back, Adam. First of all, it's really good to have you back. 
Things just haven't been the same since the attack, and we're hoping your return will restore some sense of equilibrium. That and David really missed you. <laughs> I know your top priority right now is going to be with him, but if you ch have a moment, there's something I'd like you to check into as well. Someone's been stealing near Neuropozine. 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 I first noticed it about three months ago. We seem to be... Ah! <laughs> Give me a second. Ugh, my throat. Okay. Um. Okay, someone's been stealing stuff. He wants me to go check it out. Um. We're gonna set. We're gonna search Will's office. Three seven one six. All right. In here. Where are you, Adam? You don't have time to mess around. Get to the helipad, or something seriously bad is gonna happen. Okay, all right. Okay, this email is a speech given to all the people, telling them that they will, that they're gonna get all their stuff back up. All right, and grief counseling. Cool. And this is access restricted. Why am I access restricted? I don't even know why I'd want to turn those off. Oh well. Disconnect. So, I need to go talk to some guy named Will, or something. I don't know where Will is. I probably should have read up on that. Okay, that's Tim. That's Heather. This is the woman's restroom, I think. What is this? Is this supposed to be a mirror? Because this is a shitty mirror. Oh look, I'm totally wanting to read the news after I wash my hands, after I've taken a piss. Yes. The new lab. Where the hell are they? Okay, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna suppose that they're not like on this floor. Let's read up on this. Um. Uh, he's working in Office 23. All right. Yeah, those. That's on the next floor. Going down. And let me just read up once more. Or is it? Alright, 23, 23, 23, here's 23, alright! Will, 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 will! 3, 7, 1, 6, pow! I love having a keyboard to type numbers and shit in. Okay, what do we got? Ebook. Next three decades. Where will we be in 2050? Hopefully in a lot better condition. Um... You guys were brought together under the global aegis of super governmental body. Okay, the reality is that we live in an era where sovereign nations and the formal governments of countries are little more than lines of demarcation upon the world's maps. More and more citizens of the world lend their loyalty not to a flag, but to the only true transnational entities that still thrive. Corporations. We thus foresee a time when people will be citizens of their employers, nations, rather than Chinese, French, and... Okay. Interesting. All right, let's check out this computer. What do we got on here? Don't get me wrong, I'm not kidding, but as it's my first. It's gonna be, uh, usually on nights when you were working late. Care to explain this? What exactly are you accusing me of, Frank? Yes, I've taken quantities of neuropoison out of the lab. It's part of my research, but I've also logged each and every drop used and placed all unused supplies back in the freezer before leaving. And was not the only one working on those nights. Okay. Well, why'd I look all the way down to the ground? Hey. Fuck. Here we go. Oh, if I hold down both. Awesome. I like being able to move my camera around like this, even though it really doesn't help. Okay. Uh, Patient X strand is simply amazing. I ran the test three times, and there's no rejection. Listen, I gotta take off, but you gotta see the results for yourself. Come to my office, room 32. If the chan and if by chance the door is locked, 9642 will get you in. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's me. David Seraph, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the grief counseling, or not the grief counseling, the other stuff. Realize that you still have all been working along. Mm -hmm. Okay, go into room 32. We gotta investigate it. 
don't mind me just going to spy on people, even though I should totally be going as quick as possible to save, you know, people. But, nah. Hmm. Okay, so 31 is over there. 35 is just the room beyond it, so 32 is over nope. in this direction? Yep, here we go. Look at that. I was right. So what was it, 9642? I didn't actually... I should probably read these more. 9642, I was right. Okay. Ooh, hello. Ooh, money. Don't mind me just stealing all the stuff. What is this? Robot Wars Competition 1994? Lol. Okay. Hmm. Test results. Biometrics. Tissue samples taken from both composites were tested every seven days for rejection markers routinely associated with the onset of DDS. Darrow Deficiency Syndrome. Observations. Within three weeks of testing, Composite 1 exhibited low levels of cytoxic M and DDSY enzymes commonly associated with the onset of rejection syndrome. The quantity of these enzymes increased as expected, with 20 cc of neoplasm being administered in week 5 to break down glial tissue buildup around the biochip cluster. Composite 2, on the other hand, showed no sign of either enzyme appearing until week 6. At this point, trace levels of CM were detected, but disappeared in subsequent weeks. This led me to hypothesize that the enzymes were actually a byproduct of the formation of newly extruded neural tissues, compatible with the or original ma matrix forming around the PDOT cluster. Huh. Luckily, David informs me that new tissue from Patient X has become available in recent months. Sweet. Cool. I don't know who, who Patient X is, but I guess they're helping out. Password Eclipse. Ooh. You should never write your fucking password right next to your computer. Okay. What do we got in here? Uh, I guess I'm just full of Andrea, you gotta tell me, what the hell was that the other night? First of all, I had no clue you were interested, and no idea you were still in the lab. When I went... When I went to put the extra no pause away and caught you reaching into the freezer. Well, needless to say, it was a very pleasant surprise. Thank God for Zelina. Ho ho ho! Okay. Never write down your password! Heh. <laughs> Eh, eh, eh. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, wait, what's in this vent? Ooh, I like going into vents and stuff. Mm -hmm. Credit chips, fantastic. Ebook, corporate background brief. Kidoki. What do we got in here? Little detective work? Greetings, Shine Ferret. Nuclear stakes got an assignment for you. It's come to my attention that someone's been stealing Neoposine around here for quite a while. You know that stuff costs a fortune, so I suspect someone's selling it on the black market. We need to get to the bottom of this before, uh, bottom of this and bring it to David before Jensen does. Uh, I think it's come to my attention that many of you are logging over time on the center. Okay. Right. Andrea Von Wessel. It must be really weird to work in the same office as someone else. I, I just feel awkward. Ooh, credit chip. I don't know, because you just be sitting here working on your computer. And Christ, Adam, while you were strolling around the offices, the situation got worse. Meet me in the chopper, I'll explain. Uh-oh. He's mad. Game, don't rush me. I'm trying to investigate areas. If they rush me... It gets to a point where you just go, you know what, I'm never going to explore anything ever because something might happen. Ugh. I don't think anything actually changes if you take your time looking around the area. I think he's just trying to fucking hurry me up. Yeah. 